Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my card and a cuppa for today. Now I'm pre-recording this so I'm not live, I've got some running around to do again today but this will go live at the right time so I'm going to do a triple layer card today. Now normally I do this with stamping, I've done it in the past with stamping, stamp sets and ink but this time I'm going to use some of the designer series paper from Celebration called the Favoured Flowers. So we'll switch over to my craft desk and we can get started. Okay, I do have some sun coming in my window at this time of day. So you'll just have to bear with it <laughs> because my blind is down as far as it will go. So I have a piece of the Favoured Flowers designer series paper which is just stunning and it does match let me just find it it's organized <laughs> say that every time it does match the oh, no, hang on this is in celebration so this is the paper in the celebration brochure favored flowers and it's a free gift with a $90 product purchase spend and it does match um, the stamp set that's in the mini catalogue. <coughs> so let me just find that stamp set. I'll see if I can get my blind down any further. adjustment I've got it down a bit further <laughs> it's a lovely craft room in winter though because I've got the sun streaming in my window so it goes with the fragrant flowers page 21 in the mini catalogue so that's the stamp set it, it matches the paper matches that stamp set and dies I don't have this the bundle um, but it's a beautiful stamp set and dies and the paper that's free is just gorgeous so let's now I'm using my stitched rectangle dies today these are my other one of my other go-to die sets along with the stylish shape dies so these are great dies to have in your craft supply so we've got three sizes of frames and I'm just going to layer them onto my piece of paper make sure you can see that you know what I'm going to go this way just because it's a little bit easier to manipulate so let's do that and I will get my tape actually I'll get my tape now because they're going to move around whilst I'm trying to place them So you can use washi tape. I do find washi tape can tear the paper. So I tend to go with this tape. I've gotten, um, I think it was from the Mega Craft store. I can double check that for you. So you just line these up like so. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side just to make sure. I can see that they're not staying where I want them to stay. Okay. That's probably the best way to do it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to... And you know what I've done? I've done my dies upside down. Honestly, see, I'm trying to rush. <laughs> Just as well I remembered that before I ran it through. What a twat. <laughs> Let's do it the right way down. <laughs> that would be good. And if you're doing anything with a straight edge like this through your embossing machine, it's really good to put it on an angle because it won't clunk as badly. If that makes sense. Look at the big piece. Okay, much better with the dice facing the correct way. Oh my lord, I can't believe I did that. 
Okay, so put your top plate on top and you just wind that through. My table shakes a little bit when I'm doing it. I'm winding my emboss, bossing things through. Okay, so we shall get rid of the emboss machine. back in and we'll take our little pa uh, tape off and pop these out of the paper there we go okay and we'll just pop each frame off to take them off carefully because sometimes they can tear especially the paper because it's a little bit thinner than the cardstock okay so you end up with three pieces like so <clears throat> I've got a basic black card base so we'll get that over like this I'll show you show you this technique for stamping too in a, in a future coming week. And now I've got three matting pieces. So this one is 13 centimeters by 9.2. This one is 10 and a half centimeters by seven centimeters, like so. And this one is 8.5 by 5 centimetres, like so. So let's get <coughs> a silicon sheet and start matting our pieces up. So this is another great way of using up designer series paper. Um, and it's really good with um, close... Uh, design a series of paper that's not all spaced out. It's sort of close, a closer design. <coughs> so I'll get this one. You can see I actually tore my paper a little bit there. So when you're taking them out of your dies, just be careful. matted and this one I've got a beautiful sunny day on the central coast here it's going to be about 29 30 degrees so we're having a quite a lovely summer this year last year it was very wet <laughs> so I'm hoping that the Sun continues to shine for my daughter's wedding So it's now five weeks away the wedding so we're getting close <laughs> okay so you've got your card mat your card base sorry you've got your card base you've got this one and these three matting pieces what we're going to do actually i've got to make sure yes you've got to line your pattern up well it's best if you line your pattern up okay so it just sort of gives an effect of boom 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 layering so I am going to, I know the sun is causing an issue, I'm sorry about that, but it's just the only time I could do my, my recording. I'm going to layer this onto my card base, like so. And then um, I could pop that up. Let me think, will I pop it? Will that make it too popped up if I oh look yes let's just be adventurous and pop it <laughs> okay so 
get my dimensionals if I work up the top here the sun's not my my blind is only up about four inches and <laughs> it's just enough for the sun to be peeking through and causing it a bit of an issue and I've got things all along my windowsill so I can't get it down any further but that's okay it's okay <laughs> That's why I, I changed my um, card in the cuppers to the afternoon because my, I'll just make sure that's the right layer. In that note, I think I've turned it around. That's better. Okay, so you're just going to layer this piece on top. Is that the right layer? Let me look. No, I had it right the right way. I had it the first time. Um, layer this piece matching up your design. Okay, so you can see that that's matching there and that's matching there. Um, as I said, I, that's the reason I changed my card in a cup to the afternoon because of my son coming through the window. Um, it was causing problems. So that's why I go live at 2 o'clock. <laughs> anyway, as I said, it's a once-off. I think after today there won't be too much more running around to do except on the week of the wedding so once again I've turned that around so you're matching up your design your pattern on your pattern paper so you match that match that matching the flowers okay how nice does that look I think it looks nice <laughs> um, <clears throat> now our fresh freesia ribbon matches this so let's bring that in and we shall make, I'm trying to work out where the sun is so I can get away from it. <laughs> we can make a bow. There we go. Oops. Not such a good bow, Denise. Start again. <laughs> So you could use, you don't have to have dies or a die cutting machine to do this. You could do this with just cutting paper and cardstock. Um, just making it all sort of layer on top of each other. There we go. That's better. Um, but you know, if you've got the dies and the and cut emboss machine, you might as well use it. But if you're a beginner and you don't, you don't need them. You can do it without just cut that there now I'm going to go to my my little stash of um, pre-cut um, banners so when I'm cutting things out I tend to cut a few and have them on hand so I'm just going to have a little look through here and see if there's anything I really like well, there's one that's already stamped, but that says Welcome to the World, little one. That's not applicable. <laughs> okay, look at this. This one looks pretty good. Or should I go with black? Now, black would mean I'd need to heat emboss, so we can't, we can't do that. I'll go with this. And <clears throat> Blackberry Bliss is the colour I want to stamp with. And I've got my favorite go-to greeting stamp set so i shall get the happy birthday out of that because that's going to fit yes so there's only a couple more weeks of celebration to go um celebration finishes on the 28th of february so don't miss out on the free products there's lots of free products still available. Let's see if we can get this right. How about that? <laughs> Some things work for me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, celebration finishes on the 28th of February. So make sure you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you get everything you want of the free products that are available. Now I'm just trying to work out where to okay now because I've put this up on two mounts I'm going to have to layer my design my dimensionals on this end because I want it over on the left so you just put that there take the backing off 
and put another one on top and that gives you your double mounting because I've got two layers of layer layering does that make sense okay just look in does look in yes it's gonna work so I'll put a little bit of snail on that end <coughs> Okay, so make sure we've got things straight. There we go, that's where I wanted, I think. There we are. And I've got my little bow that we can put here. I think that's where I want it. <laughs> it's just a great effect it ha it's such a simple technique and it just has a really good effect or shall I put it under here maybe I'll put it here and I'll trim it down there we go <coughs> okay now I'm going to get some bling So I am going to use some older bling because this just looks beautiful with this and it's called the Pastel Pearls. Here they are. Now these came out with the Hydrangea Suite but they're just beautiful. I'll get them out of the sun if I can. <laughs> um, just beautiful. So you've got Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. Um, I can't remember what colours they are. Let's have a look. I just know that they're purples and that's what I go for if I want purples. Okay, number 10. And this is Gorgeous Grape, Blue, Highland Heather and Pink. That's interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just thinking which ones go nicely. They're quite nice. And what about these ones? They're a bit softer. Um, let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I think. <laughs> this, is, this is where I go get unstuck with my, my bling. No, I think I like the bolder one. That's not like me. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of these beautiful, gorgeous, great pearls on my card. I might put one over here. <coughs> maybe maybe one up here there we go they're lovely those pearls I really like them and now I'm just going to get an insert for the inside of my car <coughs> and one of my other favourite stamp sets from the mini catalogue is that I know it's a bit hard because it's sunny and <laughs> um is the decorative borders stamp set um this is a really nice stamp set and you've got some lovely borders that you can do inside your cards <coughs> so I am going to get this one out because this is one of my favourites Let's just clean off my happy birthday from the go-to greetings. Also one of my favourites. This is such a versatile stamp set. If you don't have it, it really is a good one to have. Okay, so let's... This block is not really the right length, but we will make it work. And I shall stick this down before I stamp because Blackberry Bliss is known to smudge. Any of the darker inks um, can smudge once you stamp, especially when you wipe your hand over them. <laughs> How do I know this? From experience. <laughs> okay, so this is just such a pretty stamp. How nice. Oh, and that's a little smudge, but you can cover that up when you... Writing your sentiment in the in the card. 
Must have been on my fingernail. Not to worry. Okay. So we'll put that one away. So this is a great stamp set. Um, decorate inside the cards, decorate envelopes. It's a really great stamp set. Okay, so there you are. There you have it. This is my triple layer card using the Favoured Flowers Designer Series paper. I think it looks really great and it's great. Just make sure you match up your your design on your paper when you're layering because that's when it is the most effective. It's so pretty, I love it. Have a play with some other papers and see what you can come up with. And I will do a triple layer stamping one um, in, the, in the upcoming weeks to show you how that works. But that's my card and a cuppa for today. Short and sweet. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back on Monday with my Make It Monday. I think I'll do an embossed resist technique for Monday. Um, but have a great day and have a great weekend, everyone. Bye for now.